We are going to look at a floodplain simulator to help explain the critical role that floodplains play in the life of a watershed and also the impact of human activity. Floodplains are formed by the river itself through the natural process of erosion and depositing the materials along the river channel. Over time, the river channel can and will move across the floodplain, eroding and redepositing the material. Floodplains are meant to flood. It is nature's way of dealing with excess water. Floodplains store floodwaters, recharge groundwater used for drinking, filter stormwater runoff, and provide habitat for a wide variety of animals helping to maintain biodiversity and the integrity of the ecosystems. If we look first at an undeveloped floodplain, there are a few buildings scattered across the countryside at various locations on and around the floodplain. Upstream, there is a wetland. Wetlands are areas where water saturates the soil or covers the land for most or all of the year. Wetlands function as natural sponges that trap and slowly release surface water, rain, snowmelt, and groundwater. Watch as we pour 2,000 milliliters of water through the rainmaker onto the wetland. We can see that the water is being absorbed into the wetland. Eventually, small amounts of water are slowly released into the river channel and flow through the system without overflowing the banks or causing damage to the surrounding buildings, even in the lowest lying areas. Most natural surfaces along the river are permeable, also known as pervious, that allow water to infiltrate into the soil to filter out pollutants and recharge the water table. If we measure the amount of water that emptied from the system in the first minute or so of flow, we can see that out of 2,000 milliliters, only 700 milliliters came through. Now we will look at a developed floodplain. Cities and towns are often found on and around floodplains because when water is readily available, there is often fertile land, flat spots to build, industrial and transportation opportunities and uses, and scenic views. There are often many buildings concentrated along the river, and with that development are impermeable or impervious surfaces where water cannot infiltrate into the ground, forcing it to run off. This parking lot upstream is an example of an impermeable surface. We are going to pour 2,000 milliliters of water through the rainmaker onto the parking lot. We can see that the water is rapidly entering the river channel, and the force of the water is causing damage to properties and potentially putting lives at risk in lower areas. The force of the water also creates undercutting of the riverbank, which could cause erosion and concerns for higher areas. Not only is the force of the water having an impact on the land, but the runoff water also carries hazardous objects as well as pollutants, which can threaten various habitats and biodiversity in the area. If we measure the amount of water that emptied from the system in the first minute or so of flow, we can see that out of 2,000 milliliters, almost 1,900 milliliters came through.